Hello everyone. This is Eat Sleep. And Hedgeman. Yes, and Hedgeman is in the background. Jesus, this is such a big recording. Anyways, um, After Effects things tutorial, and um, this is a little sample of what we're gonna be doing. Basically, it's uh, taking things from 2D layers and uh, making them 3D like. Hopefully you can see me uh, zooming in and out, and um, it looks 3D. So, yeah, let's get started. Um, if you don't have Photoshop, you can do this in After Effects by doing the same things I'm going to do. So, I'm going to open Photoshop. I chose an image here. Um, it, if you choose your image, you should probably choose something that's like, I don't know, dirt. Uh, the background is like dirt, because if it's something like this, where it's... Uh, there's other planes and there's people. It's kind of difficult to do a few of the other things that we need to do later on in the video. So we have our um, picture imported into Photoshop here. And um, right there, it's the background. So what we want to do is we want to um, basically take out pieces that uh, we want to make into our 3D layers. So to do this, we will first, first we're going to zoom into a section like this. For example, the helicopter up here, if we want to make it into a 3D layer, um, we click on the pen tool here and we basically mask out uh, the selection that you want. So quickly do it. Um, the Marcus down there took a long time, so I'm not going to redo that. I'm just going to show you steps you need to take to get the desired effect. Okay, so there's a rough um, a rough outline of this helicopter here, and if we right click, we can make it go to make selection. And um, if you need some feathering, if you're a little off, um, I suggest you some feathering, not above two, point uh, three should be okay. So um, it's now a selection from our background. So if we go up here to the um, marquee tool and we just click on it, yeah, sure. If we right click and we go to layer via cut, what it just did is it um, cut out that piece that we masked. So now it's a totally different layer. And um, you can see by it not being there and it's now there. So now the problem shows up that since the um, layer is now going to be dynamic and we're going to zoom in and out and move it in 3D space, it leaves uh, this cutout, this white cutout here. And um, this is the bigger problem. For example, when I did the Marcus, it, you're cutting out a huge chunk of the picture. So basically you have to fake um, what that uh, area would look like using the clone stamp tool. made a tutorial on it in paint.net. It's uh, literally the same thing. Uh, you click on it. It's this little stamp thing, and um, you have to hit you have to hit Alt click in a certain area that you want to basically copy. So if you Alt click somewhere, and um, as you can see, it's uh, emulating the um, area that I have selected with the new area that um, the mask takes out. So you can all click in different places to uh, fix it up. This is why I said you need to, you should be using some sort of like uh, same colored background or a, um, so there we go. That looks, looks pretty good. So now you can't really tell that the uh, helicopter is there. If you can, um, you can turn it on again and you see it's, it's there. So if you if you use something like Marcus, then uh, something similar to mine, where you have a lot of things going in the background and you're taking out a huge chunk of the picture, you should. Um, it's going to take some time if you want to do a good job, but uh, the end result is really really awesome. So um, I'll show you what mine looks like. That's what mine looks like. The background. Um, it, uh, it took a long time to make it look even this not too great, but, um, yeah, there's that. The background, you won't, it depends how much you, uh, change it in space. Sometimes you won't really see 
the actual background so you won't really notice how bad of a job you did underneath but you need to do at least a decent job for it to look all right okay so once you have your um, sections uh, cut out let's say like that like we just showed you um, if, I'm not gonna do the Marcus because that would take too long so once you have that go ahead and save your um, Photoshop file as uh, PSD and uh, if we go into um, After Effects here I have it all laid out so um, uh, yeah that basically if you go under file in your new um, After Effects uh, composition file import just import your file of your uh, PSD file so one of these and it'll show up right here as um, for me I named it Marcus 3 so you can drag this into your uh, composition area and uh, once you double click on it you'll get your individual layers that you set up you can double click them to see uh, what they are this is Marcus did a pretty good job at uh, masking him out so there he is and uh, there's the background area doesn't look too great so um, there's that if we go back to our um, main composition area um, what you need to do is first of all let me go ahead and fix these okay so here's our original image if you see this little um, kind of square 3d layer go ahead and enable all of them all of your layers to be 3d if not then hit f4 and um, they will uh, show up so everything is now able to be edited in 3d space so one thing you can do is push the background really far back and uh, scale it up by clicking it and holding shift so there we go seems about right same thing with the helicopter I'm gonna move it forward and scale it down a little bit maybe a little more And the Marcus, I'll move up just a little bit. And then scale him down like so. Okay. So now that we've messed with our um, layers in 3D space, go ahead and add a camera by going to Layer, New, Camera. Just a uh, default one will be fine. And... Uh, fix Marcus really quickly okay there we go ah. so much clicking okay so there we go um, and uh, I gotta fix the helicopter what's really cool about um, this effect is you can really do whatever you want uh, it's like an art kind of thing if you wanted to add more helicopters or maybe take Marcus out and add uh, whatever else you wanted uh, you could really do whatever you want that's really cool about this effect so now we've um, successfully moved our layers in 3d space if you click on the orbit camera tool you can actually see what you've done uh, Marcus is now Marcus and the helicopter are both very far forward and if we if we zoom in and out you can see that you get the effect that um, it's 3d even though it's not 3d um, so yeah that's about it uh, you can add again you can add things and uh, take things out and do whatever you want really so it's pretty cool hope that helped uh, thanks for watching this is Ben, Eat Sleep from the Techies. Be sure to check out the Techies website for great game and software reviews, as well as a database of all Techies videos. Also, please sign up to our forum where you can request a tutorial or just talk about something that interests you.